I've been chasing the fall colors all the way up the eastern U.S. and into Canada, and I can tell you the seasons have definitely changed now. It's cold out here. Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV, and I am at Letchworth State Park in New York. I've been here for several days, and my plan was, after this I was going to go up to Niagara Falls, but everybody told me that the falls here in Letchworth were not to be missed, and that most people preferred them to Niagara Falls. So I'm very excited to go take this morning trip and try and see some of the falls it's hazy, the colors are just starting to turn, but I think it's gonna be beautiful. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. Look at this place, isn't it amazing? Oh, it's beautiful here. Love my life. This is a good day. Never would have thought ten years ago I get to come out to places like this just on my morning walk. Fun guy. It is absolutely gorgeous out here, and I'm glad that I made it to Letchworth State Park and got to come out here and see some of the falls and the fall colors before I head up to Canada. If you guys get to New York, definitely check out Letchworth State Park. I would have stayed another week if I had the time, but I needed to hightail it up to Canada, but on the way, I stayed the night at a maple tree farm with Harvest House, which as you guys know, is my favorite way to travel especially up on the East Coast where I wasn't camping for long periods of time and I really wanted to stay a couple of days and move on and stay a couple of days, Harvest Host and Boondockers Welcome were it for me. I stayed at so many along the way and they were amazing. But what's more quintessentially fall than a maple tree farm? I saw one in New York right on my route, so I went into the Harvest Host app and made a reservation. And when I got there, I found the most idyllic little shop you've ever seen run by a husband and wife team. Jim came out and gave me some samples of not only maple syrup, but everything you can imagine that was made with maple syrup. This is one of the reasons I love traveling with Harvest House in the summer and fall, because I can pick up a whole bunch of my Christmas presents while I'm there. I took a haul out of this place of every kind of maple flavored, everything that you can imagine. Then the owner asked me if I wanted to pull my RV down to his lake where I could camp by myself and look at the fall colors on the water. I saw one of the most beautiful sunsets of my life, woke up right there next to the water. It was so peaceful and we got to go on my way over the Canadian border to visit a friend. Now I'm back down in the States and the weather has definitely changed. Last week it was 82 where I am now and now it's 52, but I've got some chili going on the stove in the RV and I've got full propane and an electric blanket. So I am good to go. And I'll tell you guys, I got text messages from two different friends at the exact same time a few days ago who are already down camping in Arizona and they both said it was hell on earth. One of them who works in an RV park said that she spent an hour sitting on the floor in the dark underneath the fins of the air conditioner just to get through the day. So yeah, it's a little crisp here, but I'll take that over burning in Arizona in October any day. I'm hoping to see even more great fall colors when I get to Colorado for the holidays, but then after that, I'm headed southwest, and I have some big changes coming. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do, and then hit the little bell, which gives you some notifications when new videos come out. I'm gonna finish my hike now, go back to my RV, and have some chili, and get out of this cold. I'll see you guys next week with an all new video. Until then, everybody out there, have happy travels and be free.